G'day and welcome to the pilot episode of The BAM Show. The show that's made by the Guild Wars 2 community for, well, anybody who'll watch it actually. Hell, I'm not picky about who watches this as long as they enjoy it. I'm Caboose and I will be your host for tonight's show. Now, before we get started, I have to ask something from our viewers. Before you leave, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about the show. Even if you quit halfway through, just uh, leave us a comment there and let us know why you did. Also, because this is our pilot show and we're still going through how we want it structured, I'm leaving annotations. They should be up on the screen now on the left and right hand side. You can use those to traverse throughout the show. If you're getting bored with the segment, hit that next button, skip it, and just leave a comment at the end telling us what you didn't like about it. Also, as this show is going to require the Guild Wars 2 community's support for it to function for future episodes, please share this with your friends, get them to watch it, and most importantly, get them to send us in some stuff for the sections. You'll be seeing more about that later. Alright, assuming you haven't already hit that next button to shut me up and get going, here's Here's the first part of our show, News in Briefs. Enjoy! G'day and welcome to News in Briefs. This is Caboose again, bringing you your Guild Wars 2 news. Our first item up today is a patch. There was a major patch released October 1st, fixing a variety of bugs within the game, both in PvP and PvE. Be sure to check the News and Announcements section of the Guild Wars 2 forums for more details. Next up, the Guild Wars 2 website has announced the Guild Wars 2 Halloween Diorama Competition. Basically, you create a diorama and send photos of it to the Guild Wars 2 website and have a chance to win some nice prizes, uh, including uh, Guild Wars 2 branded peripherals, graphics cards from NVIDIA, a sign making of Guild Wars 2 book, and more, to quote the site like a lazy bitch. This post also confirms what any Guild Wars 1 veteran would already be suspicious of what was going to happen. Come Halloween, we're going to see all sorts of crazy in-game events in Guild Wars 2. For those of you who never played Guild Wars 1, Guild Wars 1 Halloween events gave unique masks each year that you could only be gained on that year by logging on a specific time. There were also lots of Halloween themed in-game loot that dropped off monsters as well as the normal stuff and all other sorts of cool things. So I've got my fingers crossed that it's going to be awesome and I'll be looking forward to it. You should too. Just a little backlogging news since this is our first show. In case you didn't already know, ArenaNet have implemented a whole host of new security features for your account, including uh, email authentication. Make sure you have changed your password. ArenaNet now have a blacklist of passwords commonly used by hackers. If you try and change your password to one of these, the game will simply ask you for another one. For those of you who didn't know, there is now a Mac version of Guild Wars 2 in beta, so for those Mac only users who didn't know, you can now play Guild Wars 2 on your Mac, without having to resort to any emulation. An interesting tidbit you may have missed, back on September 14th, John Smith released an article about the economy in Guild Wars 2. Hidden down there right at the bottom was a gender professions race and crafting graph, showing information on all of those things. Strangely enough, most of the races people chosen to roll are all about equal, with a slightly higher percentage of people rolling Norn, with the exception for humans, which is nearly double that of all the other races. Humans being the most popular race in an MMORPG? What the hell? We can see that engineers and mesmers were the least played professions at the time, with the warriors hands down the most popular, though not too far behind them was the rangers. That brings us to the end of News in Briefs. We now go live to the field where a reporter Tex is covering a heartwarming community cleanup effort. Tex, you're live. News in Briefs, huh? You know those are boxes, right? And you know your lips aren't moving. Let's work with what we've got. Touché, Caboose. Touché. Anyway, I'm reporting live from the Thelma Nova reactor, where many selfless souls are working around the clock to clean up the damage caused by the exploding reactor. As I speak, these volunteers are keeping the local wildlife at bay while the golem finishes cleaning up the fallout. Uh, Tex, you might want to look behind you. Huh? Oh, holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's killing everyone! Oh god! Oh shit! <laughs> Mommy! Oh god, we're all gonna die! Oh god, he got the cameraman! Carlos is down! Help! Fire burn!
Oh, um, we seem to be having some technical difficulties. I'm sure she's fine. We'll, we'll try contacting Tex later in the show. That brings us to the end of News in Briefs. Coming up next is our Community Spotlight, where I interview Momo of Momo Plays, who brought us the Guild Wars 2 anthem. Stay tuned! We had a wonderful interview pre-recorded before doing this. Um, it was a great interview. Uh, it was just a really casual thing, just asking questions as they came. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We uh, recorded for, I think, almost two hours, just random stuff with us chatting, planning to edit later. Once it was done, I said my farewells to Momo, got the uh, editor fired up, <laughs> loaded it up, and then found I had turned on only recording my voice while holding down the control key for VET essentially screwing up the majority of the interview. <laughs> and I'm very sorry for having, putting you through all that and then losing it all. But I, I cried myself to I will sleep after that. <laughs> and, uh, and now I have to do it all again. Wow. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's not a problem. It's fine. <laughs> so I've dragged poor Momo here again. Sorry, Momo. To interview her about her awesome track that she's made, the, par the parody to um, the Guild Wars Anthem. That was it, wasn't it? Guild Wars 2 Anthem, yeah. The Guild Wars that was 2 it. Anthem. That's and what it was I a called parody it. to... What was the parody to again? Uh, it's the... It, it, you, you really don't know? I That's don't! That's amazing! I don't listen to... I don't like a lot of newer music. I've just lost 10 subscribers to my channel at least from that. <laughs> I don't yep. listen much to yep, the newer have. music. Um, no one likes you anymore. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't listen too much to a lot of new music. It's just too techno for me. And I actually liked techno when it wasn't... A, a little bit of techno when it wasn't popular. But it's just now... It's just random beeps and thweeps. And, uh, for the most part, I don't like it. There are some good songs out there that I will listen to, but... For the most part, on a Friday night when I'm at work, I find myself switching off the radio because I can't get anything that sounds halfway decent to me. <laughs> that's that's fair enough. No, that's fair enough. It was the LMFAO um, party rock anthem. It was a parody of that, and it, I called it Guild Wars 2 anthem. And uh, obviously, it's official. No, it no one, no one thinks that's official. <laughs> <laughs> And it is amazing. I love it. I have watched it so many times. Um, I've linked Sweet. it to my ch to my um, parody as well. I've done it. I have done a musical parody. However, I sound nowhere near as awesome as Momo does. Momo can actually sing. I cannot. I just speak uh, really, that's, really fast. That's debatable. That's debatable. Is it? It's very debatable. <laughs> but thank you for the compliment. I'll just take the compliment, and uh, we'll skim over the fact it's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know I asked you this the first time round, but can you just um, tell me again, why did you make it? Uh, what, what made you um, go ahead and make this parody? I, I started playing for the last two stress tests, and I was super enjoying it. And I thought, man, this is so much fun. And I saw all these dance videos coming up on YouTube, and I was like, man, these are really good. But it would be even better if there was like a parody song with them or something. So yeah, that's that's sort of where the idea came from, seeing everyone else making videos of the dance and you know, I just thought it would be a lot of fun and I was enjoying the game so that adds to the fun of it as well for me. So that was it was really it was really just for fun and just Good fun. Good time. <laughs> Good time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now what help did you have making this? Was this just a one person thing or No, no, I what well, I did about 99% of the lyrics myself, and I, I had two friends check them over um, just for like, does this flow, does this work, and uh, and they gave me little suggestions here and there, which was amazing. It's, it's always nice to have that like outside view. So I had one friend who hadn't hasn't played Guild Wars, or Guild Wars 2 hasn't played any Guild Wars. I had her read over the lyrics. And she liked it, you know, there were some bits she didn't understand, but she, she, she liked it, she listened to the song, she was like, yeah, it's really good. And then I had one friend who has played and is playing Guild Wars 2 listen to it as well, just to check that all the in-game stuff made sense too, because he'd been playing it through uh, a lot longer than I had. So when I just wanted to double playing? check that everything made sense. I started, literally, I think it was the day of the second to last stress test. I... Ooh. So you got, got all the your footage stuff. then, or did someone else supply that footage? I actually, um, I, I test recorded for the stress tests and then recorded in the actual 3D pre-purchase release. Ah. So 
yeah I, I I it was frantic it was so frantic I I just like oh no I need this I need this yes. <laughs> Well, what I did was um, I'd, I'd come up with the idea after the last official beta um, test when I did mine, and I had lots and lots of footage, and I remember doing the lyrics and thinking, right, I'm going to have to look for something that kind of matches this, that kind of matches this, and I didn't really have anything that matched a lot of lyrics, particularly that really fast bit I sung. And then um, I'm about to go to work, and then someone on vent says, hey, look, there's a stress test tomorrow for three hours, and it um, started an hour after I got home from work. I'm like, right, I'm, when I get a chance at work, I'm just going to write down absolutely everything I can think of that I will need for these lyrics. And then I'm going to have two hours to try and record it all. And oh, I man. I made it, but they kept extending the stress test by an hour. And I had Takem and Mardu <laughs> just running around with me, uh, getting all of this footage. And I think we, we got it uh, just before... It, well, not just before it finished. Uh, we ended up getting it at about three hours, and then it got extended again. But I was just wiped out by then, so I had to leave. But it's it's also really difficult, like when you need other people to help you, but you have a, an idea of what you want in your head, but then you don't want to be that really annoying person who's like, no, we have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> so you you're like on the fence. You're like, do I just take what I have and work with it? Do I ask us to do it again? No, it's so it's so difficult. Like when you're trying to get other people to help you, it is. Uh, you it, really need a voice chat program and some really patient people. Uh, yeah, I, I had people on Skype with me for it, so uh, we <laughs> we you, we stood dancing for about half an hour, just recording it because people kept standing in the way of the camera, or people would run through, or an NPC would go past, and we would just be like, "Let's just stay here for this whole time." <laughs> <laughs> eventually, I'll get. And then eventually, and I was like, "Yeah, guys, I think that should be enough." I know I'm here interviewing you because of the Guild Wars 2 thing you did, but what other work do you do? What other work have you done before this one? Um, in terms of parodies or in terms of just videos? Everything. Everything. What's your channel all about? Uh, I started with Minecraft videos. Which a lot of people do. I, a lot of people do. It is. It's it, massive, massively overdone. And when I started that, I knew I, I wanted to stand out and I wanted to, to make it my own, I guess, in a way. So I spend a long time editing that and I add sound effects for in caves and all that kind of stuff. And I really enjoy doing that. And I think it helps with your immersion in the video as well. So I add music, you know, sound effects, everything. A lot of work goes into the Minecraft videos just to make them stand out a little bit. And I started doing a multiplayer thing. And then I started doing Binding of Isaac videos and Limbo videos. So there's quite a big like variety on your channel. Variety. There we go. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> Thank you. You're um, yeah, there's a big variety of uh, of different stuff on there now, and I'm still taking suggestions for what people want to see. I mean, for my 300 sub special, I did a <laughs> Super Meat Boy episode. Oh it no! Was terrible. It was terrible. I couldn't do it. <laughs> like, it, I don't know if I I couldn't play the game properly, or if it wasn't working properly, or if I'm just completely incapable. But it was absolutely atrocious. <laughs> but I, I think everyone laughed at me, so it was fine. Like, <laughs> I don't mind doing what people want to want to see and stuff like that. So, no, it's it's got a nice variety of stuff on there now, um, which I, I think is nice. And I I never wanted to just stick to Minecraft because then people get annoyed when you don't do Minecraft. So. I know I see that on the Yogs cast all the time when they, when they move <laughs> away from Minecraft. I remember they started doing Guild Wars two videos and. The comment section was spammed by people just saying, "Get back to Minecraft. Go do sh was it oh, Shadows of Israel or some? It was some Minecraft mod." Mm. Yeah, it was. It's their like their little storyline thing they have going on. But I mean, and that's what I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to always be known as the you know the sort of Minecraft person. So I I quickly branched out into some other stuff as well, which I've been really enjoying, and it's gone down really well with my my channel. So. Yeah, it's the, good. Um, Guild it's Wars 2 parody, the first Guild Wars 2 thing you did? It was. It was the first Guild Wars 2 video I'd made, and I was quite worried about it. Because, as you know, um, I don't have a good computer. I'm using a laptop. It's got integrated graphics. It's not what you want to be working with when you're making videos in the first place. It's but pretty I, uh, intensive process on the computers. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and, I mean, recording Guild Wars and and trying to make it look nice at the same time, it, I was worried about it. 
because I was like, I don't want people to criticize the video because it's laggy or whatever. But at the same time, I know there needs to be a video. So, I I mean, I, I super enjoyed doing it, though. It was, That's what's it's important. How long have you been playing it? Has it been a consistent thing, or have you been spacing yourself out? Um... Yeah, I play. I play it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> since since release, how, what, how many hours a day do you think you'd be playing it on average? Oh how many goodness. days a week? Oh, is that Far a bad question me. to be asking? That's a terrible question. You can't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> so you are enjoying the game. Then. Far, far too much. Far too much. It's probably the only answer I can give. <laughs> <laughs> so you've hit level eighty then, or have you just been playing PvP? Oh, goodness. I've been mainly doing PvP. Honestly, <laughs> I. I, I mean, I, I enjoy PvE, but I've just... There's so much to PvP that I'm still, like, super hooked on that. And I think when I finally get off of that, then I'll go do some PvE as well, then I'll mix it up a bit. But, yeah, for now, I've been really focused on PvP, and I've been really enjoying it and stuff. So that's good. Now, is there anything you want to add? Anything I didn't ask you that I should have? Um, any shameless no. advertisement of your own channel? This is, you'll just come watch your channel and that? Go for it. Knock yourself out. Oh, um, uh, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> I already sold my channel. You guys already want to watch it, right? Maybe? No? Um, yes. No, it'll be, it'll be amazing to get some uh, some new viewers in there. And I'm always open for opinions and stuff if you want to see me play a game or if, you know, if, if people are thinking, like, it would be awesome to see more Guild Wars 2 stuff, I would, I would happily do that. So yeah, if you want oh. Momo to do more videos, okay. guys, go over, watch that video, like it, leave a comment. That's the big thing. Anyone can click like and subscribe. Not that I say we don't want you to subscribe. Please click subscribe. Subs are awesome. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> leave a comment, leave some feedback. It is, that's the sort of thing that gets um, gets video creators um, motivated to do more stuff when people say, oh my god, we really like that. Or, you know, even if it's just some constructive criticism, oh, you could have done this better. Let us know. Yes, it was good. No, uh, it was... It was terrible. Anything. <laughs> oh, oh, it was terrible. That's going to hurt a little. But it's okay, because I do. I, I agree with you there. It's it's the feedback you get that makes it all worth it, isn't it? At the it end is. of the day, people are like, I really enjoyed this. And you're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Comments. Uh, constructive criticism, like you say. Anything is welcome. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to anything. It's, it's That's good. <laughs> All right, Momo, thank you so much for coming yeah, thank back, you. Uh, especially after I spent so much of your time for the first interview. <laughs> our, first time, really our first time, hour and a half. <laughs> no, totally it's not a problem. I, I thoroughly enjoyed up. it both times, even if you did, did mess up the first one. <laughs> um, that, no, it's that didn't fine. sound it's not dodgy at all, no. <laughs> um, oh. Hmm. <laughs> anyway... There you go, guys. Girls can be very forgiving. If you mess up on the first time, you'll be just fine. Exactly. Yep. You'll get Don't it right worry. next time. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Note to self. Work on introducing and farewelling your guests more before the next interview. All right. Let's see if we can contact Tex in the field again before we go to our ad break. Yeah, I think we'll try her again later. Stay tuned because after the break we have our Fast Fire community segments. See you shortly. Welcome back to the BAM Show. Before we get on to our Fast Fire community segments, let's see if we can reach Tex in the field again. Well, no change there. On with the show. Uh, let's go back. I should have, I should have been recording. Oh no. Start recording now. Today's bugs footage comes in from us, your friends at Dodge This Bam, because as the show is still a pilot, nobody knows about these sections yet. 
And we've got a bit of a treat for you today. We have two bugs in one that was found completely by accident uh, a week uh, before the show went up. This bug may have actually been fixed by now, but it is still interesting to watch. Basically, Lumlers, Cleveland Jr. and myself were trying to find a vista inside a cave in Harathi Hinterlands. Uh, being the observant people we are, we completely missed where we were supposed to go to get to it and ended up searching the wrong area. And in our thorough search, we actually found a section of the wall we could walk right through uh, that took us on top of the, the caverns and up to the edge of the world. So getting there is bug number one of our two-for-one bug segment here. The other bug, which I find far more entertaining, is if you can find the edge of the world and you can find um, a ledge high enough to jump off into the edge of the world, as long as you're holding the forward key, uh, forward movement key as you jump and don't let it go, as you're touching the edge of the world, you slowly float down uh, in a really cool slow-mo kind of jumping and it also triggers your character's scream emote if you're playing a race that has one of those. Oh, my head is half through a wall. <laughs> That was worth it. Right, hope you guys enjoyed that. Please don't forget to send us your own footage for any bugs you happen to find in the game, and we will feature them on the channel, complete with a link to your channel. So it's a you scratch our back and we'll scratch yours kind of deal. Also, let us know if you enjoyed this section. Coming up next, we have Plankin. G'day and welcome to Plankin. Uh, rather than just have a simple screenshot send in section, Guildies thought it'd be a good idea to add a little twist to it. So here it is, planking in Guild Wars 2. Just send us your emails with you planking in the most ridiculous places you can think of in Guild Wars 2 and send them to our email address. Dodge this spam at yahoo.com.au. Enjoy! That was some good mindless fun. Coming up next we have NPCs say the darndest things. Today's NPC say the darndest thing was discovered by Mardu, one of our guildies. However, he insisted that I record it for him, and I'm suspect that that was simply so I could suffer. The NPCs in question are Ridger Fire Masher and a cub in the village of Butcher Block in the Diesa Plateau. Check it out. It's cheese and meat. Cheesy meat. Can I have cheesy meat? Hungry cub is hungry. <laughs> In case I wasn't obvious enough, I'm not the biggest fan of lolcats. I hope some of you are. Oh, and please, when you're leaving comments on whether or not you like this segment, please uh, base it on the segment as a whole and not this episode. If you want, uh, hate lolcats, yes, I can understand and emphasize with that. Also, when sending footage into this section, uh, I do recommend not hiding your interface as it removes the chat bubbles, and I think the chat bubbles are quite a nice thing to have for this section. As you can see, I did not, and I was not going back there and standing around for another 20 minutes just to hear that horrible line again. Coming up next is Cover Your Shame. G'day and welcome to Cover Your Shame. Today's applicant is Dreax, a Norn necromancer who was kind enough to stop when I badgered him for an interview about his armour. Dreax informs me that the armour he is wearing is the Tier 1 Cultural Armour for Norn, and basically he simply chose it because it was the first available armour to him, and he dyed it out as he thought would be most appropriate. He is using the colours Midnight Green, Antique Gold, and Matte. Looking from a distance, I figured the Midnight Green was black, but there you go. Just a very, very dark shade of green. Yes, if you can't afford a, one of those really expensive black dyes, you can certainly make do with some of the darker shades. Either that, or the colours are being displayed wrong. I'm assuming the 
blue is matte? It's certainly not antique gold. I would have thought it would be called something different. But I'm no um, expert on the different dyes in Guild Wars 2 just yet, having only found a few myself. So I'll just take Drax's word for now that that's what it is. Drax was in a bit of a rush, so I didn't keep him around too long. I let him get back to what he was doing. But I'd like to throw out a quick thank you to him. Thanks for actually stopping and listening to someone asking for your time and not just assuming it was a gold seller. <laughs> I got a few uh, nasty responses from a couple of people when I uh, gave them a poke asking for a moment of their time, which is actually very understandable. But you get a poke from Caboose asking you for your time for a moment, it's usually for an interview or a screenshot or something like that. I'm not going to try and sell you gold. I'd like to keep my account, thank you very much. A quick shout out for those who want to be part of this segment. Uh, send us an email at dodgethisbam at yahoo.com.au and I'll find a way to get in touch with you. I'd rather interview you about your gear, get you to tell me a little bit about it rather than narrating. If you're too shy to be interviewed, you can just send us some footage and we will use that. Just make sure you give us a description of your gear, where you got it and uh, the colours you've used. Just upload that footage to YouTube and send us an email with the link to that footage and I will get it and edit it for the show. Coming up next, Wars Need Guilds 2. Welcome to Wars Need Guilds 2. Bad puns aside, this section is all about guilds within Guild Wars 2. Once again, since this is a new section, today's guild will be ours. Dodge this. Bam. Of the Henge of Denravi. Now, as far as guilds go, we are very small. There are only about 10 members here, but we're a very close-knit bunch. We do all sorts of things together. We've done dungeons, world versus world, structured PvP. Overall, we're a very casual bunch. However, if the need arises, we will band together for the tougher challenges in whatever the games we play throw us. I guess the last little feature you could throw into the guild is that if you're a member of it, there's a good chance you will feature in one of our videos on this channel. We have no rigorous recruiting methods for people for the guild. If someone wants to join, they can. However, do notice if you act like a douchebag in guild chat, we will remove you. And that's pretty much all I have to say about us. If you'd like your guild featured on this section, then send us an email, and Caboose will get back to you, and hopefully we can set up an interview as well. Coming up next is the Cab Rant. G'day and welcome to the Cab Rant, the section that pretty much speaks for itself. So you guys send me a topic and I will rant on about it. As this is our first episode, I'm just going to ask myself a question and then answer it. How original is that? Question in focus today is, will I be playing Mists of Pandaria for World of Warcraft? For those of you who have been following my channel before this show has gone up, you'll know I've played quite a bit of Warcraft. I've been playing since vanilla, I've been running a guild since there as well. Will I be playing it? you'd think it'd be a yes, but unfortunately, I think I have finally burnt myself out on World of Warcraft. The grind, the sub fees, the aggressive community, I've just had enough of it, to be honest. And really, can you blame me? You're, I've been playing essentially what is the same game for the past seven years. And I'll tell you this much right now, if it wasn't for the guild, I would have quit it a long time ago. As it stands though, I was one of the people who signed up for the 12 month contract and I've still got a month and a bit to go before that wears out. So I essentially do have Warcraft installed still. I do jump on to chat with the guildies, uh, see what they're up to in there. And I've actually been playing it the past week because of the Pokemon type pet battles. Yes, I know. However, I don't need Mr. Pandaria to play those, so I jumped in, gave him a go, found them strangely compelling and addictive, got into them, I was loving the way it was working, and then what happened? Well, whatever, ha what else happens in Warcraft? It became a sluggish, boring grind. I think I've already had enough of it, and I felt I was just getting started. This may be partially to blame on Guild Wars 2 as well though, because uh, it's introduced me to the concept, basically, I don't need to grind to have fun, why should I have to grind to get to the good stuff, why can't it all be good stuff? And at the start, the battle type, pet battle thing, it was, it was fun, it was great, I felt like I was moving on at a steady pace, but the levelling curve got steeper and steeper the more I got into it, and it's just not, the, the reward is not worth the time invested to me anymore. That being said, I may get Pandaria somewhere down along the lines and give it a go if I feel like feel like playing it and grinding it, I will, but that subscription fee is always going to be a barrier to me. See, if it was like Guild Wars 2, I could just jump in, 
play it without having to worry about being locked in or getting my money's worth. Having to buy an expansion and then pay to continue playing it, uh, I think I'm over that now. And I know what a lot of you Warcraft fans are saying, you're saying they need the sub fee. The sub fee generates the great quality game we get. Well, look, I've played Guild Wars 2 and I found that more enjoyable than seven, the past seven years of Warcraft, just the one month playing. And there are a lot of people complaining, oh, but you do that one month and then there's no end game. So what? If you had a lot of fun playing for a month, how is that a fail game? How can you feel you're not getting your money's worth? Or is it that we're looking for a game we can constantly return to time and time again? Is it that grinding gives us a sense of achievement? Whatever it is, I'm just not feeling the attraction anymore. Uh, while I do like the idea of getting into a raid with my guildies again in Mr. Pandaria, the idea that I'm going to have to spend weeks um, preparing my character to do that has just puts me right off it. And not to mention I'll also be paying for the privilege of spending all of that time grinding and gearing up my character. Sorry guys, but that's just not for me anymore. If you want to find me, look interior. I'll either be running around the vast world looking for more PvE things to do, running dungeons, or most likely I will be grinding even more time into my PvP rank. Gotta say, if you want some nice fast paced action and as far as I'm concerned, fairly balanced PvP, you can't go past the Guild Wars 2 structured PvP system. For a lot of people, I think that'll be worth the price of admission to the game alone. And remember, no grinding, you can jump into it straight away. Alright, that's enough ranting from me. If you want to send a topic for the next show, send us an email at dodgethisbam at yahoo.com.au. End rant. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Hope you enjoyed that. Alright, before we get on to the uh, final words, let's try and give poor Tex one last hail. Hello? Tex, are you there? Tex? Tex, are you dead? Hello? Hey, this thing still works! I'm still alive! Got a little hot in here. But I'm alive! Hey, hey you there! You with the shield! Help a girl out here! Grab the camera. We have work to do. God damn it, Caboose! You were trying to get me killed! What? No, 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 no. I'd never do such a thing. It was supposed to be some environmentalist cleanup gig. You know, easy, safe work. <laughs> well, I'm still alive. That thing got burnt. A lump of my designer clothes. I see a chest behind you. Did it drop good loots? Hey, be careful with that new guy. I'm not sure. We can't get the damn thing open. No, you're doing it wrong. Go for the rivets. Do you want to do news and briefs for me next week? You're already dressed the part. You're hilarious, Caboose. I'll see you back in the studio. Oops, what a shame. We seem to have lost our feet again. Oh well. Well, here we are at the end of our very first show. I would like to throw out a huge thank you to everyone who has watched this far. And an especially big thanks to my subscribers for waiting this long with next to no content while waiting for me to finish the show. Now, please, please give us as much feedback as you can because we do want to edit the show so it's a little shorter. This one turned out a lot longer than we thought, just so it has the good stuff. But uh, what I think is good stuff and to what you guys think is good stuff could be completely different. So, uh, feedback guys, what did you like? What didn't you like? What could be shorter? Uh, what could be longer? Were there some sections you just plain didn't like? Were there some sections we didn't feature that you would like to see? Any ideas you have for the show, just leave them down there in the comment section. I will be monitoring it vigorously and replying to every comment left there that I feasibly can. Um, anything you want to send us, uh, footage, pictures, screenshots and everything, send them to dodgethisbam at yahoo.com.au with a quick description uh, of what you've sent me. Make sure you mention the BAM show in the subject header, otherwise I will just dismiss it as spam. I'd like to give out a big thank you to everyone in my guild. They donated a lot of their time in uh, not only making the footage, but going over it as I was working on it and telling me what they liked and what they didn't. A huge thank you to Tex, my wife. Thank you so much for encouraging me to do, to do this, helping with the editing, all your create, your constructive criticism and creative ideas. The show would not be here without her. I can guarantee you that much. I love you, honey, and I promise to be spending more time with you now that we've got the template for the show set out. 
Another thanks goes to Michael Pascal Stiefel of Plasma 3 Music for allowing me to use his works throughout the show. He does amazing work, guys. Click on the link to him in the credits and check it out. And lastly, we must thank the Geekosaurus, without whom this show would not be here simply because he contacted me about four weeks ago saying, hey, uh, TGN has a spot for a Guild Wars 2 show. You reckon you could make one? And it's all pretty much built up from there. He's also responsible for me getting my partnership and for guiding me with a lot of parts in this video. He introduced me to Adobe After Effects. He touched up our logo we created for the show. He's just done so much and has been with us the whole time as we've been developing this. So massive thanks to Geekosaurus. Thank you very much. Alright guys, the credits are about to roll, followed by a thing from our sponsors. There is one last little easter egg for you at the end of this video, so do keep watching. We hope you enjoyed the very first episode of the BAM Show. And until next time, this is Caboose signing out with one last thing to say, and that is... See ya! Part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.tv. There's like a balls of fire. <laughs> Poor rabbit, I jumped down, landed on a rabbit, and it died. Throw. <laughs> Fucking kid got me. And I'll. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> it's close. It's like a community guild, 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 English skills. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> it's 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 that little platform. I haven't seen anyone suicide here today yet. Oh shoot! Well, now you have. Jump. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, damn. God damn it, take him! <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Shit, something's hitting the cameraman! What is this, today, tonight? Yeah! <laughs> Jump. <laughs> <laughs> I know it wasn't.